So fourth. At this point, beginning with our first candidate from Barangay Nordis Sur. Please welcome. And now please welcome our candidate number two, A.G. Baking the Choso. From Barangay Pulong, Kaputu. The concept of this costume designed by Jun Baluyot, entitled Ortelana, is rice and sugar cane former. It symbolizes that hard work of all the farmers of Barangay Pulong Kaputul, which used to be one of the major agriculture areas in Angeles City. The costume features various materials such as metal, sequins, beads, crystals, rice, twigs, artificial sugar cane, among others. Once again, candidate number two, E.G. Banking de Choso, Barangay Puno, Kaputu. And moving on to our next candidate, candidate number three is from Barangay Malabanias. Please welcome Rachel Meni Nebinghead. The name of Barangay Malabanias came from the word Banias, an old Kapampangan word which is also the name of a water Costume is 
about cotton fiber, wooden beads, metal gold for embellishments, rhinestones, and metal cuts beads. Once again, uh, candidate number four, Kathleen Joy Rivera from Barangay Kapaya. And of course, moving on to candidate number five, from Barangay Kanan, please welcome Mikaela Shady Kuwaipo. The costume is entitled Pagwis Pantan, designed by Jubilan Paras Aquino. It's made from indigenous materials like dried pandan leaves, dried paspas leaves, anaha leaves, and seashells. It is also accentuated with rhinestones, gems, and crystals. Bagwis in Pantan symbolizes human quality and freedom. So there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, from Barangay Pantan, candidate number 5, Micaela Shane B. Cuenco. And this time, please welcome candidate number 6, Carla Kate Calas. From Barangay Lourdes, Northwest. La Sagrada means sacred. Sagrada Familia is the inspiration of this costume because in Barangay Lourdes, Northwest, there is a tradition of celebrating every 30th of December where residents place God at the center of their family life. The dress designed by Kevin Kayanan is inspired from a modern Filipiniana angel which symbolizes the spiritual being believed to be the messenger of God and embellished with palaspas and rosary defining the panada as a vow or pledge to act in accordance with ritual obligation with significant hand painting image of Familia Sagrada and the bird to represent a piece of Barangay Lourdes Northwest. Once again, that candidate number six, Carla Kate Galas, Barangay Lourdes Northwest. The costume designed by Trisegni, entitled Mini Angati Progreso, represents a modern one-piece Balintawang Filipiniana semi-ball gown. The top is gold and yellow that symbolizes the rising sun. The details, the sleeves represent the Hispanic culture and the golden necklace represents the Kintong Anki, while the medallion is the image of meaning's patron. We have a San Isidro Labrador, and on the skirt is the overlay tapis, a check fabric combination of green and purple in honor to meaning's patron saint. On the lower part of the skirt is a hand painted scenery of old meaning. The head piece is a pink silicone hat with white fabric cover and tied off to the sheet and on the off center or made of white fabric ribbon with artificial lines. Once again, from Barangay Hini, Ellie Chante T. Mendoza. And now it's time to welcome candidate number 8, Glenis Turda from Barangay Ninoy Aquino. This costume is called Dutong and designed by Ira Clay Kawasaki del Rosario. Barangay Ninoy Aquino is the home of quality wood products in Angeles City. For years, wood crafting became an industry which turned people's creativity into world-class economic activity. Mutiani 
Kaming Minoy Aquino wears a wooden ensemble of wood products craft fully made by skillful Aquilenos. The creative wear is Mario's showcase of artistry and creativity of Aquilenos in wood industry intertwined in fashion and pageantry. Once again, that is candidate number A, Glenis Turla, Barangay Ninoy Aquino. And of course, moving on to our next candidate is from Barangay Tahon. Candidate number nine is none other than Angel Faith Hina. The title of the costume is Gracia o Amor which means Lingap Ling Lugud and is designed by Kevin Kayanan. The inspiration of this costume is Dux Femina Bakti, a Latin face which means a woman was the author of the achievement. Babies and children are symbolically connected to creativity. They represent the new, the idea that something that once never existed can be brought to the world through a sacred process. The dress inspired into a modern Filipiniana with embellished lace, rhinestones, and wooden curve, which is what Malangay Tahoe is known for. Also included in the design is a hand painting logo of Malangay Tahoe. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, candidate number nine, Angel Faith and and this time, please welcome candidate number 10, Zaylin Joy Sapanta from Barangay Pampanga. Vestida Negra or Black Woman's Dress, designed by Rich Savinian, symbolizes Pulingan Festival of Barangay Pampanga, wherein residents, devotees, show their hospitality to all the visitors and tourists aligned by rubbing someone's skin with crushed charcoal on the day of the feast. This local costume was made of fabric, wooden beads, golden lace, paper mache, and metal. Once again, candidate number 10, Zaylin Joy Zapata from Barangay Pampang. Please 
welcome candidate number 12, Jeremy Nicole Aquino from Barangay Nabutla. The concept of this dress entitled Bagus, designed by Shania Bangit, is Wings of Guardian Angel. The dress and pan are inspired by the wings of Santo Angel Custodio or Holy Guardian Angels. The town's patron saint. Bagus or wings symbolizes how Angelinos bounced back when it was it by calamities and tragedies. The headdress materials were made of wood carvings by the locals of Barangay Tabun, wherein the showcases the creativity of the Filipinos. Materials used for this costume are fabric, crystal beads, feathers, and wood. Once again, candidate number 12, Jer Jeremy Nicola Aquino from Barangay Tabun. And of course, our next candidate is from Barangay Santa Trinidad. Candidate number 13 is Jerry Tiffany Pinalagos. The cousin of the title, Raina Del Ahumado, or the Queen of Pinapa, is designed by Iris Mary Carillon, represents Barangay Santa Trinidad as the Pinapa capital of the city, where you can see Tolls and Tinapa vendors on the road. The Nipa is a representation of Bayanihan and Hartford, and the magazine Jario, printed cloth symbolizes simplicity, dedication, and compassion of its people in the barangay. Materials used are the heat, and then we have the metal, the cloth, the fresh Tinapa, rubber, and bits. Once again, Cherry Tiffany Galagos from Barangay Santa Trinidad. And now, please welcome candidate number 14, Angelica Cassandra Santos from Barangay Agapito del Rosario. This costume, the Sissy Queen designed by Tata Blas Peñuela, was inspired by typical Filipina women. A modern Filipiniana gown touched with colorful patadion, ornaments with layered banana leaf, touches with the different ingredients from the sisi, salakot headdress, etc. to emphasize that she is the lady in the famous Ali Lucina that represents and highlights the barangay of Agapito de Rosario's well-known Sisi. Once again, candidate number 14, Angelica Cassandra Santos, Barangay Agapito de Rosario. And moving on to our next candidate is from Barangay Anunas. Candidate number 15 is Ejawan Apuya. Maglalala or weaving is a method that holds the ratan tightly while weaving them. A craft weaver works with the Zabir Khan using the ratan and their skills to produce a The new generation is proud of the tradition of Maglalala this garment entitled Maglala, designed by E.J. Ramos and Kevin Kayana, symbolizes natural resources in the art and skill in making baskets, furniture, and others, as it is known that the people of Barangay Atunas can make a big deal of it alone. It shares knowledge, stability, and unity as the weaving of it is Materials used are indigenous materials made of rattan handicrafts, flower made of dried palm husk wooden beads. So once again, from Barangay Anonas, candidate number 15, Ejewon Akuya. 
And now, candidate number 16, Glezet Garcia from Barangay San Jose. This costume entitled Aslam ng Tatang Pamanan Lazatina, designed by Carl John Miranda, is inspired by the Lazatina vinegar plant located in Santo Rosario Street, Barangay San Jose. This historical plant tells the story of the homemade vinegar that has been grown as time goes by, as well as the manufacturing of its high-quality production. Lazadine's vinegar is the very own and best plant in Barangay San Jose. Materials for this costume are metal foiling, silver leather, hardware, recyclable materials, chains, crystals, cock beads, and gemstones. Once again, Glissette Garcia, Barangay San Jose. And moving forward to candidate number 17 from Barangay Kutkut, please welcome Jenica Cruz. This costume entitled Campo Santo or Kutkuta, designed by John Carl Miranda, represents the two iconic cemeteries that made Barangay Kutkut known to every Aquileño, the Campo Santo Matua and Holy Mary Memorial Park. Aside from the needs and legends like Babae Makapamuti and Babae Makamalakad Kendaludu surrounding them, these sanctuaries have kept our dearly departed in their balsam and have been symbols of our loved one's final resting place and eternal peace. Materials used are felt cloth, galaxy tulle, venable wires, and then we have the Buddhist soy, touches fabrics, crystals, hot beads, and gemstones. So once again, from Barangay Kutkut, we have candidate number 17, Jenica Cruz. Candidate number 18, Gliza B. Solis from Barangay Manigado. This costume in Puerto Salami, designed by Evo Oro, signifies and promotes the authenticity of the Salakot Festival in Barangay Manigado. The term Salami means welcome or come in where everyone is welcome to explore and experience how diverse Barangay Malibago is. From the iconic Salakot in Bayanian Port to the Abacan Bridge that connects people's passion, dedication, and camaraderie to the famous Tigtigan Terakan King Dalan that commemorates Mount Pinatubo, Barangay Malibago offers a warm welcome and comfort to all visitors regardless of time, nationality, and race. Once again, your candidate number 18, Glyza Solis, Barangay Balibago. Thousands of rhinestones 
and Swarovski crystals. Beads wrapped in artificial leaves. So once again, candidate number 19 from Barangay Malabanyas, Macy Miguel Cerola. And now, let's take a look once again to our 19 lovely candidates representing their respective barangays 